Welcome to my presentation about the MBS SQL plugin. My name is Christian Schmitz and I create Sojo plugins for over 15 years now. The MBS SQL plugin provides an alternative way in Sojo to access databases. We provide two interfaces to the plugin. First, the SQL database MBS class, which is based on Sojo's database class. While it requires you to have a license including database connectivity for Sojo, it makes the transition easier for existing projects. The second interface is the SQL Connection MBS class. It maps to the C++ library below and provides more flexibility and more options. Both interfaces can be mixed. For example, if you need a record set for the built-in Sojo reporting engine, you can get one even when using the native interface. So let's go into details on the first interface. We base it on the Sojo's database class and implement most of the methods there. So you can use SQL select command to query data and receive a record set. You can use prepared statement class as you would with all the other database classes from Sojo. Same for database record class for doing inserts. We do not support edit, update and delete methods on the record set. The reason is that when you use those methods with Sojo's database classes, they try to figure out the primary keys of your original query and to construct new SQL statements for those operations. I don't like that approach and prefer using prepared statements. Using SQL Connection MBS class, you use the native interface of the SQL API C++ library. For prepared statements and record sets, we use one class called SQL Command MBS. We do have specific classes for the underlying APIs for various database vendors. For example, you can get the SQLite API instance and use it to access SQLite specific functions like backup or encryption functionality. Encryption. The list of supported databases is long. Centura, SQL Base, DB2 from IBM, Firebird and Interbase, Informix, MySQL and MariaDB, Microsoft Access and SQL Server, Oracle Database Server, PostgreSQL, SQL Anywhere, SQLite and SQL Cipher, Sybase and ODBC for all the others. If you ever need more, we also have a plugin for using Java database drivers in our Java plugin. A key feature of our plugin is that you can bring your own library. In most cases you have to bring it. So for MySQL you can decide whether to bring the commercial, the open source, community library or the embedded library. If you need such a library, I have a few on my website. For MySQL you include the DLL file for Windows or a Dialib file for Mac with your application. The plugin loads that file at runtime and uses it to connect. At any time you can update the library to make it compatible with newer version of database servers. For SQLite you have several choices. You can use the official SQLite library code and build your own library. Or you use the SQL Cipher library the SpatiaLite library, the built-in SQLite library inside the plugin, or you can use the pre-installed SQLite library coming with macOS or Linux. We support prepared statements to avoid SQL injections. You can pass parameters by ID, index, or by name. For example here, we pass the first parameter by name. 
You can bind the type and let the plugin automatically detect it. We support using double colon with ID number, double colon with name and the question mark like in Sojo's database classes. And you can pass all parameters together as a dictionary object. Here is an example of binding parameters with type and value and by index. Please note that to demonstrate the difference we use the indexes 0 and 1 to bind but use ID 1 and 2 for the fields. Users constantly have trouble with using index and easily get off by 1. To execute. So here is another example using names to reference parameters. All the parameters get a name and we use here the same name for the parameter as for the field. That is a key feature because now you can add or remove parameters without changing indexes. Please note that the bind type calls are nowadays optional with current plugins. Our plugin supports multi-threading. You can perform a que SQL query on a preemptive thread and leave your app doing other things. Or simply leave the user interface running and avoid blocking behavior. You can even connect multi-threaded. Of course, you need to use a thread in Sojo to ben benefit from this. So your main thread can show a progress bar and react to clicks in case user wants to cancel. The working thread calls our SQL plugin functions, the plugin performs work on a preemptive thread and waits in the Sojo thread to keep the app responsive. Blob handling. Let's talk about blobs. You can use binary large objects to store your PDF documents or images. We can set and query those using both memory block and strings in order to avoid extra conversion between data types. The plugin can stream fields directly to a file or from a file, actually using streams so it works for binary stream as well as for sockets, serial ports or other readable and or writable classes. You can subclass data consumer MBS class and receive chunks for data re events. For providing data, you can use data provider MBS class and provide data in chunks via events too. This allows you to stream huge blobs yourself. You can use the record set class with our plugin. This allows easy transition with existing code using other database plugins. We support scrollable record sets. Some database systems support scrollable cursors directly and you can request the record set to be scrollable. As some database systems do not support scrollable record sets directly, we can optionally cache the record sets locally for you. We can use move commands to go to the first, last, previous or next record as you need. To help in debugging, we have a last statement property. Whatever you do, you can always recall the latest statements and see what is happening. Even for search SQL commands where the plugin writes SQL for you. Then we have trace events on the classes so you can get an event and lock all the SQL calls going through. In the debugger you see all the parameters and fields. This helps you to see what is really passed to the database server and what you have currently in the record. To handle errors we offer two modes. You can have an exception raised for each error or just the error properties. You can have an exception raised for each error or just the error properties to be set. So for SQL Database MBS, we set by default the error property and don't raise exceptions. 
For SQL Connection MBS, we also set error properties, but exceptions are raised. In general, we prefer exceptions because it makes error hardest to ignore. For SQLite, we have some extra features. First, we include an internal SQLite library. This library supports encryption via AES with 128 and 256 bit and RC4 encryption. We regularly update our internal library to the latest SQLite versions available. You can set the timers and busy handler to avoid your app waiting long when database can't be written as it may be in use by another process. We enable extensions for full text search and JSON. For PostgreSQL, the open source database server, we not just allow you to connect, we also provide some additional support. While you can use external libraries, we offer to use the library built into our plugin instead for easier deployment for Mac and Linux. As PostgreSQL has a notification feature, you can send and receive notification. This is useful if one of your users updates a record and you send a podcast to all connected clients to inform them about the update. Those can reload the table or the record if they display it. Speaking of events, we provide a few. First, the trace event, which you can use to lock all secret calls. Then we also have connect events, so you can lock connections and set parameters before connecting as well as execute some statements after connecting. The working event is called while a multi-thread statement executes and allows you to call cancel method. Beware that not all database types support canceling queries. Here is an example for connecting to SQLite with SQL Connection MBS class. As you see, we set an option here to specify where to find the database library. Then we connect and pass the path to the database file as connection string. No username or password as SQLite doesn't use that. And we specify the client type as SQLite so the plugin knows what to do. In case of connection error, we catch an exception. Here is an example for an insert via SQL statement and the SQL command MBS class. As you see, we de define two parameters with ID 1 and 2. Then we assign them data and the data type is defined by the methods we call here. Finally, we execute the statements and this does the insert. Here we have the same insert but using named parameters. Really getting indexes wrong with prepared statements is a common problem and using names can help to avoid it. The result is the same. Here follows an example to do a query. We create a new SQL command MBS object with the SQL statement. Then we execute the statement. If no error happened, we loop over the records. The fetch next method gets the next record. We pick values by field names and use accessor methods to get the data in the right data type. Then we add it to the list box. Here's an example for connecting via SQL Database MBS class. It is similar to the SQL Connection MBS class. Again, we set the options needed for the database type we want. For the database name, we prefix it with an identifier for the database type. Then we connect. If it fails, you can check the error property and the error message for details. You can use the database record class with our plugin too. Just create the record as usually and fill it with values. Our plugin will build automatically the SQL command and fill the parameters for you. 
Please make sure the data types are correct as some databases servers don't convert automatically for you. Here's an example query with SQL Database MBS class. We fetch rows until we reach end of file for this record. Don't forget to call the moveNext method. If needed, you can mix both interfaces. So you can get the connection for the SQL Database class and access some more methods. Or you get the record set for SQL command object and pass it to the Sojo report engine. And you can directly run SQL select and SQL execute methods, which can return a record set. There are more things to say here. First, we support bulk row fetching. Instead of loading one record on each move or fetch next call, we can load them in blocks. That is just a property on the connection or command object and handled transparently for you. For Mac and Linux, you can use the free TDS library to connect to Microsoft SQL Server without ODBC installation. All details are part of the connection string and you just need to include the free TDS library and tell our plugin where to find it. You can run stored procedures with our plugin. For SQLite, we have a copy of our SQLite library with the ICU enabled available for Mac. That one can do text search and comparison with full Unicode support. If needed, you can switch auto commit on and off for database which support it. For SQLite, we recently added a special feature. We include the command line tool from SQLite inside the application, so you can use it to work with SQLite files directly and use the same commands as in the terminal. This is very useful, for example, for batch exporting or importing with CSV files or to copy data from one database to another. Please give the plugin a try. Download it and play with the examples. We do have over 80 examples to try for various servers. Some examples are one database but can be easily changed in the connection code to a different database. If needed, we would be happy to sell you a license. The plugin is supported for desktop, console and web projects. It supports Mac OS 10, Windows, Linux, but iOS is not possible currently due to a missing plugin SDK. But we already compiled it for 64-bit, 32-bit and ARM CPUs. Thank you and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. Thank you. And don't forget our conference next year in Berlin.